When it happened, everybody was yelling, you know, police brutality, and we witnessed it. David Smith says he and at least 30 others watched Niles police tase his neighbor, William Parker, until he couldn't move and then struck him with a flashlight until his head split open. Smith says the whole thing started after Parker called an ambulance for his mother, who was having a seizure. Her, her face started turning purple and I, I tried to open her jaws up and her jaws were just clenched so hard, so tight, you know, like a cramp or a seizure. Emergency responders told Parker to meet them at the hospital. Before Parker drove away, he noticed the ambulance was still there. So he went back to check on his mother. He opened the ambulance door. The paramedic fireman told me, uh, you can't be in here, uh, HIPAA. Parker thought he would be allowed because he is a relative, but minutes later, the cops showed up. When they come pushing me back up and telling me to get back in my house, I'm like, I don't have to. Parker says as he moved away, police shot him in the back with a taser. As he fell backwards off of the steps, the officers grabbed him, pulled him at the same time. His right elbow grazed one of the officers that was a little bit heavy set. And that officer instantly yelled, he just hit me. He pulled out a mag light and struck him in the head a couple of times, total of five hits. Now Parker's being charged with resisting arrest, disturbing the peace, and assault on an officer. But according to neighbors, the only one assaulted was Parker.